On the night before he died, Jesus celebrated the Last Supper and said there, Do this in memory of me. When St. Paul wrote his first letter to the Corinthians, he recalls this and says, For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. What does this have to do with what the Catholic Church calls the Eucharist? Is the Catholic Eucharist in the Bible? Yes, the Catholic Eucharist is in Scripture. And in fact, Scripture is found in different ways throughout the Catholic celebration of the Eucharist. But first, we need to back up and consider what this word Eucharist is. Eucharist comes from a Greek word, eukostoia, which means thanksgiving or gratitude. The verb eukosteo means I give thanks. Moreover, after the prefix, which means good or well, the stem of eukostoia is the Greek word kairos, which is rendered in Latin gratia. The Eucharist is indeed this good grace or thanksgiving. While you may not see the word Eucharist if you read the New Testament in English, keep in mind that the New Testament books were written in Greek. The term expresses what we hear in English as giving thanks. For example, St. Paul says in 1 Corinthians, For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Eucharist became one of the names of the sacrament. St. Justin Martyr in the middle of the second century attests to the custom of calling this food Eucharist. Where do we find the Catholic understanding of the Eucharist in the Bible? Primarily, it is what Jesus himself teaches during his public ministry. In all three synoptic gospels, in Matthew chapter 26, in Mark chapter 14, and in Luke chapter 22, we read that Jesus institutes the sacred meal where he takes bread and wine and says words that are transformative. He makes the bread and wine his own body, his own blood. The Eucharist is Christ himself. St. Thomas Aquinas knows that Jesus does this on the night before he died because this sacrament makes Christ present to us who suffered for our salvation. Jesus wants to remain with us always. All of Christ's life on earth led to him giving us the Eucharist in the Paschal Mystery so that we may be united to him. At the Last Supper, he said, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. In John chapter 6, Jesus says, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Eucharist is the greatest of all sacraments because it contains Christ himself, and it was foreshadowed in many ways in the Old Testament. As Abraham was willing in faith to give his beloved son, so God the Father gives his beloved son as a victim in the sacrifice of the Mass. The Passover lamb was the food for Israel's journey, and its blood saved Israel from destruction. Christ is the Lamb of God, who becomes food for our exodus to heaven, and we are saved by his blood. During their exodus from Egypt, the Israelites were fed daily by God himself in the form of manna, a mysterious bread from heaven. We are fed by the Eucharist, Christ himself, the living bread come down from heaven. St. Thomas Aquinas expresses these Old Testament types, or foreshadows, in poetic form in the mass sequence of Corpus Christi. In the English translation, the church sings, Truth the ancient types fulfilling, Isaac bound, a victim willing, Paschal lamb, its lifeblood spilling, manna to the Father sent. Moreover, not only is the Eucharist foretold in the Old Testament and made explicit in the New Testament, the church's celebration of the Eucharist is filled with biblical verses and images. For St. Thomas, following in a tradition from St. Augustine, the Mass preeminently expresses what St. Paul says in 1 Timothy, First of all then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all men, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life, godly and respectful in every way. 
The Mass is the greatest example of where we find supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings. The Mass begins and ends with the Trinity, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, in the sign of the cross. We can recall how at the end of Matthew's account of the Gospel, Jesus gives the Great Commission to the Apostles to baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The sign of the cross expresses how Christ came to save us. The Eucharist introductory rites include an act of penance when we cry out to the Lord for mercy. On certain holy days, such as most Sundays, the church sings the Gloria, which amplifies the angelic statement on Christmas night, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. After the introductory rites, each mass is composed of the liturgy of the word and the liturgy of the Eucharist. The liturgy of the word gives readings from the Bible culminating in the proclamation of the gospel. The liturgy of the Eucharist is imbued with scripture throughout, including the very words of institution of the Eucharist said by the ordained priest in the person of Christ, such as, this is my body. At communion, knowing that the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world is present, we pray in a way reminiscent of the words to Jesus of the centurion seeking healing. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Catholic teaching of the Eucharist is not only in the Bible. The Bible is lived out in the celebration of the Eucharist. All of this is for our salvation, so that the word celebrated in the Eucharist may heal our souls, and that we may live forever. For readings, podcasts, and more videos like this, go to Aquinas101.com. While you're there, be sure to sign up for one of our free video courses on Aquinas. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends, because it matters what you think.